Guys, welcome back to Cars Cost and Technology. So we've got a huge announcement on today's video. As you can see, we are looking at some spy shots of the C8 Z06 with very minimal camo on. You can see that beautiful quad exhaust in the back center mounted. You've got the new rear wing that we've been looking at some of the spy shots and leaked photos of uh, previously well covered up with some camo. You can see those wheels. Uh, man, this car looks so good. I apologize for sort of the rushed format of this video. Um, this is obviously unexpected, but I just wanted to put something together real quick. Just got a copy of these photos from the spy photographer directly, so extremely excited to share this with you guys. Look at that front fascia, extremely aggressive. You can see those uh, dive planes or canards there on the front with the huge front splitter, uh, sort of redesigned there, looking more like the C8R on the front fascia, as well as the, uh, you know, obviously wider wheels and stance. Um, but man, just looks incredible. I love the way that wing looks. I didn't actually like it when I saw the original spy shots. And uh, now without all that extra camo there, and you can see the front end as well, some of the changes they've made, this car looks incredible. But uh, I'm going to make a much more uh, planned out and thorough video sort of discussing every little detail that we can see here uh, later tonight. So look forward to putting that together for you guys. But just wanted to, for now at least, put together some uh, information on just my initial reactions. You know, again, here's some closer shots of the dive planes and canards, that front splitter, new front fascia. Uh, man, it just looks really, really good. I love what they've done here. You can see they're allowing a lot more airflow to come in the front end of this car than they did on the Stingray, uh, which is to be expected for extra cooling. But look at that stance, guys. You can see how much wider this car is than the Stingray. Um, cannot wait to see this car fully with no camo on it. Um, but anyway, guys, again, this is sort of a rushed, uh, spur of the moment video just to sort of share that this information is out here. I would definitely guess that this is the track focus version, um, based on that huge front splitter dive planes, the, the big rear wing. Um, I would imagine that this is going to be more of your Z07 package. Uh, can't quite tell. It does look like it's got carbon ceramic rotors as well. So again, probably the carbon fiber wheels we've heard about. Uh, if you look closely, it's difficult to see that. Uh, but again, look at that front splitter just from the different angles. But again, guys, want to put together a much more thorough video at some point later today. Definitely let me know any questions you have in the comments below that we can try to address in a, in a further video. But for now, I'm thinking that um, I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing. Obviously, we've seen quite a bit of leaks so far with uh, the exhaust note. We've got to see the quad, uh, quad tip center exhaust. So we've seen some of this information already. We've already seen the, the wing, but actually seeing it without so much camo on there, getting a better idea of how the car looks, uh, sort of the proportions and the overall angles. I am really, really, really liking this. And again, look at that new rear diffuser. Man, that looks so good. Uh, you can see they've added some extra, basically venting there, you know, for cooling. Um, obviously you got the new arrangement for the exhaust tips, which I did a uh, sort of a, a poll on uh, Instagram asking people whether they like the quad center mounted tips or the um, quad exhaust tips off to the sides. And pretty much everyone loved the center mount and now they've gone back to circular tips as well. So I know a lot of longtime Corvette fans love the look of the uh, circular tips versus the more squared off tips on the Stingray. So definitely cool to see that they've made that change. I think that incorporates really nicely with the new wing as well. I'm hoping that that's going to be in carbon fiber, or at least have that as an option. But again, we're seeing some better cooling there in the back, big wing. Um, those get a closer look at how wide those tires are. Got some massive tires in the back. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, I wish that I had more time to go over this more thoroughly. Again, sort of an unexpected video here with this information just sort of falling into my lap here midday. But I wanted to put these out here for you guys to look over and uh, discuss some of what we're looking at here. Just really, really shocked. I mean, I, I am actually more impressed than I thought I would be. I mean, I knew that the Z06 was going to look pretty incredible, but man, the, the dive planes and canards, you know, just how aggressive that front end is. I mean, it, it really does look like a C8R. Uh, obviously, we're not getting all of the details yet because we've still got camo on it, but we're not seeing the heavy leather wraps and all the additional padding over the body where all the lines are hidden from us. And this car is just blowing me away. I mean, I really am shocked at, at how good this new front end looks. Imagine this and say torch red or um, rapid blue, you know, one of those real vibrant colors popping. I would imagine that we're going to see a lot of black contrast, you know, carbon flash throughout this front fascia here. Um, and look at those. Yeah, this car is going to be incredible. I can already tell. Uh, I'm sure you can tell by my excitement here in this in this video. Again, it's 
not my most well thought out or uh, research video, but just had to put something together real quick. Um, obviously can't have something like this surface and not just get the conversation going, share it with you guys. I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing here with the new front, front fascia design. Um, can't wait to see exactly how this splitter is attached here. I'm sure that's going to be carbon fiber as well. Maybe you'll have an option for like a composite or plastic piece, but boy, um, looking a lot better than I thought. What do you guys think? Is this, is this what you were expecting from the C8 Z06? Did you think maybe there's going to be some different design changes throughout the rest of the car? We can see that the side profile is pretty similar to what we've seen in the past with the Stingray. Uh, obviously a little bit wider overall stance. These side rockers don't look to be anything extremely track focused or anything. So maybe that's uh, not gonna actually line up with the rest of the aero kit that this particular car has on it. Uh, I'd be curious to see if there's not gonna be some more, similar to the um, carbon fiber side rockers that are available on the Stingray, maybe something like that to go all the way back to the rear quarter panel there. Uh, sort of interesting to see that it's just sort of minimal for uh, again, how aggressive the front aero kit is and that big wing. Um, go back here to the rear diffuser. Just trying to show you guys some multiple different angles. Talk a little bit about basically what we're seeing. I will stop talking here in a second. Just kind of let you guys look at the photos. But again, from what I'm seeing, um, really, really aggressive aero kit. Uh, great wide stance, huge tires, uh, carbon, carbon ceramic rotors, potentially carbon fiber wheels. You know, you can definitely tell that there's a darker shade to them. I don't know if that's painted or if that's actually the material itself. Uh, but anyway, guys. I'm going to shut up and just sort of scroll through these photos here for a second, let you guys kind of take a look for yourselves, decide uh, what stands out to you. Again, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, anything you want to talk about. I do want to make a much better, more planned out and, and thought through video, not just a spur of the moment reaction video, if you will. But uh, check it out, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are below. I'll let you just look through these photos here for a little bit.